Hey love bugs, it's rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. You know, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you uh, strongly resonate with the video uh, that you are watching, please go ahead and share. It would be greatly appreciated. And the video I'm about to do right now is Twin Flame 101. Um, hey, Okas, never feel that the moment of failure is preparing you for our ultimate success. It's true. A lot of times we, you know, we're, we're um, like there could be a gem of uh, insight that's, you know, popping up in our head that, you know, universe has gotten us towards to do, you know, change something that is new. You know, um, change, you know, change of course that is new towards us. And a lot of times we hold this vibration of feeling, oh, I may not have what it takes to do this. Or what if I don't understand it? What if people don't get me? You know, what if I'm not being heard or seen like I think I want to be? You know, and it's all of that that a lot of times we hold between from being better and the, creating the best version of ourselves. A lot of times what holds us back is a fear of failure. A lot of times, you know, even that, that vibe has came up for me. I'm like, wait a minute, I ain't fearing no failure. I ain't even started it yet. But it's just the fact is when we procrastinate um, on doing different things. You know, I've been there. You know, I've known different uh, other people like uh, Universe has got me to tell them something. They're like, bros, I don't know. I got so much on my plate right now. You know, I don't know if I have time for it or maybe next time and stuff like that. Because I know it's automatically, you know, sometimes it's, it's in a coping mechanism for us to just put up excuses. Instead of uh, actually putting in the work, we put in excuses. And a lot of times, you know, hey, it happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. But these are the things. It's like, how are you going to know? what your inner zen is you know what are you gonna know if that thing you know it's like we always got that thing that we don't know about it's like i got a thing and i just don't know or it's just certain things that you have allowed yourself to be used to like you have a certain routine that you have done you know maybe you know i get up you know if i want to take a walk you know i go take a walk around my neighborhood you know uh you know, um, what is it? Meditate, do something like that. And, you know, I became, you know, so used to that. That's my routine. And, you know, universe is like, you know, why don't you switch it up a bit? You know, why don't you have like a cardio day, you know, um, uh, elliptical day, whatever, you know, it, it, all those different things. And it's just like, mm, I don't know, you know, because I've been so used to a routine. Just for me trying to step out on doing different things. It's like even with the content that I get out. I'm like man look. You know they ain't going to be watching that. Nobody want to watch something about failure and stuff like that. They don't want to hear it. You know but it's just like it's okay. You know there's somebody who really needs to hear that right now. And it's not worried about that. You know it could be something that you add on towards that. It may not be heard. It may be heard. You know a lot of people may get into a views of that. But you don't know until you allow yourself to do it. And I'm like touche touche. You know being you know they tell you be organic you know be very transparent you know even on the different things where you know you not effed up big time you know and I really like being that way because it's just like I'm not going to worry about being judged I'm not going to worry about not being hurt you know I'm not worried about you know uh, different people not may not believe the things that I say or you know I'm blowing smoke up somebody's butt on talking on the side of my neck and it's just like me being hurt is you know it, a you know, I can allow myself to say I've said it, I meant it, I stand by that, and it is what it is. I said what I said, and now let me move on to the next scheduled program. And, you know, and going on towards that. But it's allowing me to see the different parts of myself that I'm not equipped, I wasn't equipped to be in, um, uh, connected with at that time. And it, and it really allows me to see myself in different vibrations, and I really enjoy that. You know, I really truly enjoy that, you know, because it was just like yesterday, you know, I was taking my vibe, you know, it was like a Zen time for myself, me time, you know, and just giving thanks, 
you know, I, I'm seeing things in a different way, you know, it's allowing me, even things if I really don't understand, I know it's unfolding the way God's plan was, you know, I'm not resisting, I'm not allowing myself to uh, be a fear of change, you know, even if I fail certain things, you know, it's not how many times that you have dropped to the floor, it's not how many times that you have had a setback, you don't had an impulse of decision, you don't failed at something, it's about when you have that courage to get back up. You know, not worried about being embarrassed and shameful. You know, there's a lot of different things people don't got into and they go do a little hee hee and a whole lot of ha ha. That's okay. You know, but it's just the fact is you're doing a lot of things that a lot of people are just mocking you for. You're getting up and trying again. And that's all that matters. You know, this is that time where they're telling you, you know, that failure, you know, once and once again, you know, tend to do it. It's going to lead you. To success if you allow yourself to not give in you know not give up you know it gets difficult at times you know a lot of times when especially if you know you're putting in work you're doing what you need to do you're forgiving you're letting go you're just allowing things to take course the way it is and not trying to control and uh, manipulate certain timelines for yourself or other people you know I'm not allowing yourself even when enemies are you know doing something to you are you looking for are you looking for karma to take place in your life in their life no if you stay focused on yourself and minding your own business and leaving other stuff alone you already know the way it happens is the way it happens. If God wants you to see that, trust me, He going to put you right exactly where you're going to be able to see where karma is hitting other people. Even if, if it does, don't mock that other person suffering because when you do that, you're doing exactly what them folks did to you. You know, all these different things are taking place where it's showing you to be a better person. And showing you to heal. Allowing yourself to let go of things that, you know, of other people are in there doing. These are the things that strengthen you. These are the things that made you flow in a whole different way. If you didn't go through these things, if you ain't had distractions all the time, you wouldn't know where your persistence will be. You don't know where your courage is to be keep being consistent with yourself. Never being complacent. Never feel like, you know, oh... Um, I'm waiting for change to fall on my lap. That's not how it work, how it works. Cause you'd be missing out on many blessings if you're waiting for that mess to come catch you. You know, and you have to be in that vibration of where, hey, I'm here. You know, I'm here. You know, and it, it just gets to that point where you get to that vibration where you're seeing every every day there was some lesson learned that you needed to know in that day, and you'll start being so grateful. And then it gets to that point where you can look back. You appreciate those downfalls. You appreciate those storms. You appreciate those setbacks. You know, the situations where it angered you because it showed you where you were very compassionate about things that wasn't going in the way you thought it was. You know, because that's all it's showing you. When you when you feel like you're not being hurt, when, you, when you're loud and you're yelling at people because you feel like you're not being hurt. You know, when you... Uh, when you're resentful of certain things that you thought was going to go a certain way, you know, especially with other people, you were hurt. You know, you were hurt, you know, but it just, but at that line, it, it was just like universe is really trying to show you, see so much of that, whatever that person has done to you, see what you hold in yourself that is mirroring back to you. Because a lot of times we don't realize we're all mirroring something we need to learn and grow and heal and part ways with, with every person that we meet. You know, regardless if we like it or not, there are certain things. I mean, I, I mean, there'll be so many people I can sit up here and unlay all type of tea on. But it's just like I'm not even in that vibe anymore. I'm just like I appreciate you showing me who you truly were. But it showed me a lot of me that was instilled in you that you projected towards me that I need to know about myself. Thank you. And then going about my business and still wish them well. You know, and those are the vibrations where it's showing you. You had to go through that moment of failure because you really wouldn't know where the hidden win is. You know, you you even when you're failing, you're winning in some type of way because it's like when you get back up and you're seeing, okay, you know, dusting off, you know, you probably got a little snot and you know, dirt in your eye, or whatever, because you don't fail. You know, you got that rock in your heel. You know, it made me think about a childhood situation where I failed and had a rock stuck up under my, my skin. I'm like, oh my god, you know, and I got back up because it was just like matter of fact, it was when I was riding on my ten speed bike. It was the first time, you know, where it showed the handlebars. It ain't straight like they they are nowadays, but it was like the ones that curl look like you know little ram horns and stuff like that and with the speed things right here and i had pedals with the daggone spikes on it 
and going down, you know, going down the street when we were on, um, what was it, uh, on my street, Cable Street, where we were <laughs> back in the day when we were still on military installation, went flying down that hill with no hands and knowing my butt. I was a tomboy back in the day and I flipped off that bike and that was it. I'm like, mm mm, hell to the no, I ain't getting back on that mess. You know what I'm saying? Then my mom gonna whip my butt because I'll skip myself. But it is just all about that where when I finally got out of that fear, I jumped back on it. It took me a minute, but I jumped back on. I'm like, man, this time I was just like, don't go down that hill so fast. And make sure you got your hands on there. You ain't E.T. phone home. That dad gonna, you know, that dad gonna bike ain't gonna go up in the air. It ain't gonna go in the air, but you gonna come right back down. Gravity is not our friend, you know. But this is showing you where even the failure has a hidden wind to it. When you're allowing yourself to get your chance up, to get back up, you know, even if it hurts for you to get back up. You know, even if you feel like there ain't no way, but at least if you try and you keep trying, you don't know, find every avenue to keep going. Then when it just doesn't work out, you you know what? I'm going to try every avenue towards the situation. I did it the way God and universe, you know, God me to do that. But I'm just really not feeling that. Okay. But then when you do that, there's still something hidden within yourself that you didn't realize was there. And a lot of times that's what the whole moment of exploring a new uh, vibration of yourself was actually for. Even if it's something that you, you really are having a thing with, you don't, that is not your Zen anymore. You know, and these are always telling you, you know, don't never feel failure. You know, failure is always going to lead you towards a ultimate success. You know, you have to be able to feel that. You have to be able to believe that. You have to be able to proclaim that, claim it, you know, receive that so you can be able to do it. Because if you, you, you know, you move towards something and you already got those iffy vibrations or you already got that negative vibe, that's the creation you're making for yourself. So you never really know what that is, you know. And it's just like so many people, like my mom used to tell me. There'll be so many people passing you by. So many blessings is coming for other people. You're going to mess yours up when you sit up here focusing on people that ain't worth focusing on. Or you paying attention to things that ain't even none of your business. Allow yourself to keep moving. Regardless of what everybody else is going on in our lives or what people are trying to do to you. You keep being you. That is your greatest power and that's your greatest weapon. Regardless if anybody trying to emulate that. you Nobody can't do you like you do you. You know, allow yourself to keep moving. Allow yourself to explore all the different, you know, there's different parts of you you are not sure of yet. And a lot of times we were like, man, wait a minute, I wake up with myself every day. What do you mean I don't know who I am? When I can sit up here and say there's a lot of stuff I didn't know about myself, you know, for me to be able to move the way I'm moving. You know, and I tell people I've been doing this for six years. You know, I see, you know, the different, you know, views that I get. It's not as big as I want them to be. But that's showing me, you know, don't quit. It don't matter how long it is. Sometimes it takes people longer than, it, you know, it does with other people. But I can't sit up here and compare my platform to somebody else's platform. All I can do is compare my platform to how I used to be, to how, you know, I was in the middle and how I am in and right here in this stage going on towards something else and I really loved what I'm doing I really love to be able to uh, project these things out you know when I've gone through something universe and God tells me share that with other people you really don't know you know anybody who can you, you really don't know how many people can resonate with that you know because you're really trying to find your place in life where you want more out of it you want something more fulfilling out of it but if you are not allowing yourself to put in that work to find out what is fulfilling in your life you can't blame nobody but yourself you can't you know because a lot of times we will put work in for things that we don't know that it, it, it can be totally irrelevant it can be something that ain't even that ain't even for us that ain't even our cup of tea but we had to find that out when we got to it and then you finally sit up here and see like, dang, they were right, you know. <laughs> you know, and then this next thing you know, it's just like if you can put so much effort in certain things that's really not for you and you made it for you, even though it's going to eventually show you it's not for you, you know. Well, just think about what it can do for something that is actually destined to be for you. You just don't know. It could be that thing that is going to be. You know, it's going to catapult you in ways and levels you ain't never known. So allow yourself to know every failure is, uh, you know, is preparing you for an ultimate win. You really don't understand that, you know, until you allow yourself to go through that. You know, if things that you're moving right now or things that universe is guiding you towards and it really doesn't seem like it's moving, you don't know. It may feel that way where you're looking at it. 
but in the realm it is it's doing 10 million times more than what you expect it to be don't don't sleep on yourself don't don't get complacent start being consistent and persistent in doing that like you know even your verse like oh you gonna relax today you know because i got my grandbaby tomorrow and i was like man well i was gonna just you know it's gonna be a meditation workout day i'm like mm -mm. no i got certain things i gotta be saying you oh, okay i'm just saying you you know god just gonna test you to see what you're gonna do you're gonna lay back when you can it's just like when i feel like i'm gonna lay back i'm gonna lay back but when i this is that time for me to you know kick start there's a reason for that so i'm allowing myself to keep moving so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video y'all i would love to give a post notification shout out to tara lover um 941 much love to you as well uh quantum 369 um and brian dodry much love to you as well and i hope you're able to resonate the content of this video much love to you all if you um I uh, always leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, broadening, you know, giving you a deeper understanding about your path to purpose. You know, a lot of times, you know, people share different things that's going on with them and they just want insight about that. And, um, and you know, I try my best to be able to give, you know, uh, inside about it you know either from my experience or you know from what universe has guided me towards whatever you speak on is confidential and I try my best to be able to help out the best way I can I leave my um my link to my podcast to Spotify as well and I gotta get that back in my schedule because so it's been slacking on that too but hey it, it is what it is that I have been productive so it's just about me getting everything I'm like OCD like crazy <laughs> so everything is like all all up in, a, in, in disarray but I'm getting it back together so um you know um I, but I have been leaving my link there so um you can be able to listen to that as well if you don't get be able to watch this you can go on to the audio on Spotify as well and if you feel generous enough to you know drop a donation it's truly appreciated I'll leave my cash app there as well and, you know whatever you're trying to manifest into your life you know um, to make bigger into your life even when you feel like it's not happening you just don't know what's going on behind the scenes stay persistent be consistent just when the devil wants you to give up today, that big blessing can open a door for something you didn't even prepare for tomorrow. So keep going. Don't sleep on yourself. Keep being, you know, keep going. Keep going. And, you know, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. I hope you have a blessed day weekend. Please be responsible for everything you do. You'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.